What's going on my dudes? One step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Jake in multiverses. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Jake, some best strategies you need to be aware of, perk recommendations, fun starting combos, and more. So without further ado, let's get into it. Subscribe here for more multiverses and fighting game content and let's talk about your boy Jake here. Jake is an absolute blast, but I'm gonna be real with you guys. He's pretty basic and easy to understand right out the gate. No crazy abilities to really worry about, like nothing passive or anything like that. So let's talk about the tips and tricks regarding his moveset. Things you need to know about. Well, for starters, did you know that Jake's down special will actually reflect projectiles and make them your own projectile? And it really shuts down your opponent, and makes them not want to throw projectiles. Like if you're fighting a Batman or a LeBron, really shuts that game plan down. And it looks like this. And also to make things easier, Jake's specials, his down, his side special, his up special, and even his neutral special to eat your opponent. Those are all the same on the ground and in the air. Speaking of his neutral special where you eat your opponent, that can be kind of hard to land. So I always recommend doing that inside of a combo if possible like this. And then you can just aim them and then spit them right back out. And that is another tip. While your opponent is in your mouth, that sounds really weird to say, but while they're in there, you're gonna aim up or down, then spit your opponent out. And it's got pretty good knockback and pretty good power too. Jake's down attack in the air, the skateboard here. You can do that to three times. If you do it three times, you can see our opponent is ignited now, taking damage over time. So if you can try and land that three times, it's way more worth it than just hitting it once, like this. Jake has more than a couple moves that'll break armor as well. Your down attack on the ground, your neutral attack on the ground, and your neutral air combo, like this. All three of those are great ways to break armor. Keep in mind, Jake's aerial up attack is two hits, so it can really catch your opponent trying to dodge out of it. I think the hardest thing to really get down about Jake is landing and understanding his aerial side attack here. That is really good, but you can aim that up or down. Obviously, you can charge it as well. But as you heard that, that right there is a sweet spot. The sweet spot does like more damage, more knockback. And the sweet spot is right at the end of the stretch. So you gotta find that literal sweet spot, that safe distance or the perfect distance between you and the end of the stretched arm like this. Using that attack in combos is just, is just insane. And it can be really cool. Like I said, pretty straightforward on the tips and tricks there for his move set. So let's go and talk about his best killing move options. Like what moves you're gonna be using the most to then KO your opponent. First of all, ground up attack is just, is just awesome. The reason why it's so good is you can charge it and it covers a larger radius. Like look how far away we are from LeBron right now. That's insane. It's also got a sweet spot by the way. Same thing right at the end of the stretch. Your up attack in the air is really good. Your side air is also really good. He's got a pretty good dash attack as well. And honestly, his side special is really good. Now let's go ahead and talk about Jake's neutral game. What do you want to do right here in this moment? How do you approach your opponent or how do you make them approach you? Jake is a bruiser and he plays as such. He's really aggressive. He's going to bait out the projectiles and then do down special. He's not afraid to get in their face using side special. And then combo your opponent into the air, stretch them, bring them up, and then kill them. I find myself using side special a lot to get in there. Because that move has priority over a lot of other moves. I do use up special for some recovery if needed. You can also use side special for recovery if needed. And then really getting down that range for your aerial side attack is just perfect. You get that down, you're gonna be a menace. Jake can do some really hard hits at mid range, but he's really good at being in your face too. Now some combos to get you started is using side attack once or twice into another special or another attack like up attack. So I'll do side attack twice and then up attack. And then there's times where I wanna hold the up attack just a second, so that way my opponent might dodge into it. Side attack twice into up special is always great. Cause that brings your opponent in the air, allowing you for aerial combos, for aerial side attack or up attack. Doing down air three times is a really fun way to start combos too. They allow you to go into aerial down special, or they might bounce up into your up special. Now let's talk about my perk recommendations for Jake. Jake's signature perks are Sticky and Stay Limber Dude. Sticky just makes it so that way enemies that touch Jake while he's stretching up special are briefly stunned, making them easier to hit with his buns. Or of course, Stay Limber, where Jake's house ability bounces back in there after hitting the ground. I find myself loving and using Sticky a lot more. That way, if your opponent ever gets into your stretch mode, it's a lot easier to combo off of it and of course, kill him. Cool. Stay Limber's not bad. I just use up special a lot more than down special. I use down special mainly to reflect my opponent's projectiles. It's a really good projectile 
Tell a shutdown move. So I prefer Sticky. For Zether Perks, Jake is a bruiser. And though he has some really good kill moves, sometimes it might be a bit harder than others. I like to use press the advantage. So that way my team will apply weaken when knocking back enemies that are above 125 damage. So if you're Jake and you're fighting, let's say a tank or something like that, you have some really good combos, but now you're applying weaken to those tanks that are above 125. If you don't use that, I use snowball effect as well, just for that extra damage. As Jake is a light bruiser, I do want to have more speed as well. So that way I can just get my opponent's face even faster, but you can always use air walker and then do like the up special stretch into air walker and then just do it again. That's always fun. And as a bruiser, man, Jake really benefits from Pugilus, just that increased melee damage. Jake is not a mage or anything like that. He has all melee attacks. So Pugilus is just huge for him. The more damage this way, I choose more speed, but I also use air walker sometimes. More weakened or more damage and then sticky buns. Let me know down below in the comments. What do you think of Jake in multiverses? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Is he your main? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more multiverses and fighting game content. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more multiverses news, guys, tutorials, and more.